Thank you for joining us today on HXGN TV. I'm your host, Vanessa Flores, and today we're discussing trends and innovations in productivity manufacturing with Ryan Tools, Stationary Product Manager, and Ken Freskin, Business Development Manager for Aero Engine Applications. Guys, thank you for joining us. Today, many manufacturers find themselves searching for new and innovative ways to improve productivity. Ryan, what are you seeing in the industry? So what we're seeing is uh, many of our customers are coming to us to help solve the problem of bottlenecks in the inspection process. Um, so what that means for us is that we can no longer just offer machines that are the most accurate. What we need to do is combine accuracy with speed and specifically scanning speed. Um, and we see uh, really two main drivers for this. The first is uh, tolerances of parts are getting tighter and tighter and accuracy requirements are increasing. Um, and at the same time, we're seeing uh, the inspection rates for those same parts rising as well. And what is Hexagon Manufacturing Intelligence doing to solve some of the issues that you are seeing? Yeah, so, so Hexagon is focusing our efforts on helping our customers increase their throughput. So we're investing in technologies that will allow users to acquire more actionable data faster than they've, they've ever been able to do before. Um, a good example of that is the global Evo that we have uh, on display here at IMTS, uh, which we announced earlier this year. And really the design goal for the Evo was to offer the fastest tactile scanning speed of anything in the market. And we were able to do this with some of the technologies that have been integrated into the system. Um, so at its core is something known as Compass technology. And what this is is a set of firmware and software algorithms that have been combined with changes in the fr frame design where we've decoupled the frame from the drive system using elastic joints. So you can think of this uh, in the same way that uh, car suspension works. So if you're driving along in a car and there are bumps in the road, as you hit those bumps, the springs in the suspension will essentially eliminate the vibrations felt by the driver in the cabin so, so they experience a smooth ride. Similarly, in a CMM, when it's scanning at high speeds, that frame will, will experience inherent uh, vibrations at faster and faster scanning speeds. Compass allows us to reduce those vibrations, and that translates to uh, more accurate and, and very high speed scanning of parts for the user. Okay. And can you, can you talk about some of the demands aero engine manufacturers face today, and what is, um, what is Hexagon doing to address some of these unique challenges? Sure, so, so it's uh, kind of a two-pronged approach. Uh, what, and basically it has to do with, uh, with, with speed and confidence. Okay, today with the uh, you know, ever-growing aero engine business, uh, air traffic is just growing at, at tremendous rates. Mm -hmm. In fact, the aero engine manufacturers have upwards of eight, nine, 10 years of order on, on the backlog today. Um, so, but beyond speed, they're really looking for partnerships uh, in, in, in metrology, not just dropping off metrology equipment and, and, and walking away, right? We are really uh, gearing ourselves up to properly manage our assets from cradle to grave. Um, and we're doing this through many things, many ways. Uh, one example is, is MMS Pulse, which again, you'll see at IMTS uh, this week. Uh, but with MMS Pulse, we actually put monitors on the, on the machine so that we can monitor things such as temperature and humidity uh, and, and crash protection, things that will affect the, uh, the measurement results on the, on the shop floor. We can then go in and create uh, parameters. Once they're outside of these parameters, we can send warnings or we can actually stop the machine from running so they do not measure a bad part, right? So a bad part doesn't, doesn't get out the, out the door. I mean, let's face it, if a bad part gets out the door, you can't pull an aircraft over and fix it, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, so that's some of the ways in which we're helping uh, our customers manage our assets on their shop floor. And the other way is, is speed, of course, which, which again is equally important. If we can help these manufacturers get eight to ten years of production out the door quicker, uh, they're, you know, they're willing to partner with us to help, to help do that. And there are three unique ways in, which, in w what they're requiring. Uh, one is, of course, providing metrology at the point of manufacture. We don't want the, uh, the air engine manufacturers to make the part and then carry it you know, down the aisle. You know, we want it right at the point of manufacture, which means it's got to be in a shop floor env environment, which is very difficult today with the aero engine manufacturers. Secondly, of course, is speed, you know, the total tack time once the part is on, on, the, uh, on the machine and measuring. We want to uh, minimize that because let's face it again, uh, measuring parts doesn't create money for them, right? So we, we need to minimize that. Um, and we are seeing upwards of 50 to 60 percent cycle time reduction in some of our new and exciting technologies such as the HTA machine, which again, you'll see at IMTS this week. 
Uh, thirdly is a simple user interface. We don't need a high-end user, you know, being able, having to run these machines. We want a simple user interface so machine operators can push the button and once, the put, the, once they push the button, it measures the part and provides actionable information at the point of manufacture uh, right away. It sounds like the measurement of a compressor blade is pretty complex. <laughs> what are the steps that you're taking to help the customer measure such complex geometries quickly? It, in, indeed they are, Vanessa, and that, that is of course part of the, part of the challenge. Uh, you know, the more complex the geometries, of course, the better airflow, the more efficient the engine. And, you know, the traditional way, of course, of measuring compressor blades specifically has been through analog or tactile scanning. And the, the challenge there as these geometries increase is, is, is in the past we would measure to the center of the probe and then provide an offset to, the, to where the probe is touching mm -hmm. the parts. Well, that's easy if I have a, a flat surface and I'm perfectly perpendicular. Mm -hmm. Well, as I create these crazy geometries, I now uh, use, use the offset in the nominal direction. If I'm on, off nominal, well, I got error that we don't need. So we're solving this through, through non-contact high accuracy. Uh, sensors uh, again on the HTA machine, which you'll you'll see at the show here. Um, in addition to that, uh, you know, a, as part of a sort of uh, uh, full package inside the HTA machine, uh, we provide a dump to the analysis package that the customer provides. We of course provide PCD Miss Blade, but some of our Aero Engine uh, OEM manufacturers have their own analysis packages. So we've created a direct link so that again everything is seamless. When they're done measuring, they can put it in through any of the analysis packages and we, we, we get the actionable information at the end. It tells them the part's good, the part's bad, and what action to take. The HTA is very specific to one type of customer involving one type of technology. How is Hexagon helping customers that have more than one type of feature or application? Sure. Um, <clears throat> so typically a manufacturer will decide what type of inspection system they need, uh, obviously first based on what the part is, what it's made out of, um, and then they'll take into account the workpiece size and the accuracy and throughput requirements. Um, but oftentimes what happens is a compromise needs to be made where uh, one specific probe might excel at measuring a particular part or a feature on that part, but maybe that's not the best uh, inspection method for a different part or a different feature on that same part. Um, so our solution is to offer systems that are highly versatile. And another of the machines uh, that we're displaying here at IMTS um, is the Optiv 664 Dual Z. And this is essentially a moderately sized, uh, pre predominantly vision system, but it has two independent vertical axes. So our users can deploy both a tactile probe uh, as well as an optical probe um, without the need for a probe change. So this translates to reduced cost for the user, one in that they only have one machine they need to first purchase and then maintain, but also on the other side of uh, the savings in time for setup, for uh, program writing, and then for program execution. And typically we'd see uh, users of this type of machine where they have many different smaller parts or if they have a particular part that has some features where a touch probe is the best method for uh, inspecting and then maybe they have other features where uh, either a, a touch probe can't get to or the material is too sensitive for an actual touch where an optical probe is the best method for inspection. And Ryan, what trends do you see coming in the future of manufacturing and metrology? Sure. Um, so I think the, the biggest trend that we're seeing um, on the horizon and maybe already upon us is um, the need or the desire for our users to, to be able to acquire more information um, about their entire manufacturing process. Um, Ken mentioned something earlier about MMS Pulse, where we're, we're able to inform the user um, of, of parameters that maybe have been breached during their inspection process. And this is something that, that hadn't really been done before, but this is direct feedback in real time uh, to help that user understand the quality of their metrology, but also in their manufacturing. So, so we kind of see this as similar to uh, the trend in our own personal lives of the Internet of Things, where um, we're seeing more and more of the devices and the appliance that we use on a day-to-day -day basis uh, being connected online in the cloud, working together, which ultimately helps our lives become more efficient and easy. Um, we see this happening in the manufacturing world as well, where 
machines and devices from procurement to machining to inspection mm -hmm. are all coming online, being connected to one another, mm -hmm. and what's happening is information from one phase is being fed into the next phase, all in this, this loop. And each time this happens, we're seeing a, uh, a gain in efficiency every time. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, this increases productivity, and the bottom line is a more successful business. So I think this is really this, the, the essence of sensing, thinking, and acting. Wow, wonderful. Well, we would like to thank our guests, Brian and Ken, for joining us today. For more about these products offered by Hexagon Manufacturing Intelligence, visit hexagonmi.com. For more on HXGNTV or to watch additional episodes, please tune in to hxgntv.com. Thanks for watching.